Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Q. I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. So as you guys already know, I'm back in the Split Mine house. We just got this house. It's in the Hollywood Hills. Let's go take a peek at this view real quick. I mean, look at that. That's just beautiful. What? But anyways, when we moved into this house, I actually found this Hello Kitty guitar right here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I would make a guitar beat from scratch using this Hello Kitty guitar. Let's do it. All right, so like I said, I don't know how to play guitar. There's only three chords in this. I believe it's in, actually I know it's in the scale of C minor. And this is what I played. So like I said, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made a beat from scratch using this Hello Kitty guitar. And before we even do anything, I wanna break down that uh, this is actually my first time ever playing guitar. Kind of just like taught myself some chords and stuff. And also, it's missing a string. But yeah, I kind of just messed around on it and just tried to play some stuff that sounded good to me. And I think we got a cool beat that came out of it. So I'm going to break down how I went about doing that. So first thing I did was took the amp cord, plugged it into the guitar. And as you can see, I'm actually in Ableton this time just because I already have the audio recorded. So I'll let you guys listen to that after I show you how I played the actual guitar. Ableton just allows you to time warp audio a lot better than FL Studio using these markers right here. You just drag them and move them however you want. Anyways, let's get into how I actually made the melody. I plugged the guitar in and now you can hear that we have that. And like I said, I'm using Guitar Rig 6 with this preset right here. It's called Clean Chorus. All right, so like I said, I don't know how to play guitar. There's only three chords in this. I believe it's in, actually I know it's in the scale of C minor. And this is what I played. So yeah, that's what I played right there and I recorded it into Ableton. And the only thing I really had to do was just time warp it a little bit because like I said, I'm new to playing guitar and I wasn't really able to play it perfectly on time. And then right after that, I had the guitar loop sounding like this. And so I liked exactly how that sounded. I didn't want to change anything. And I also wanted to keep this pretty simple because if you're playing a guitar, really, there's not much you want to add except for maybe like a top melody. So the next thing I actually added was just this bass from a contact bank right here called the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. And I just used this dub bass preset. And it's literally only two different notes. It's a C and a D. And the bass and the guitar ended up sounding like this. Then I didn't feel like the melody was completely full yet, so I took this one shot that I found. It's just a super simple bell. Sounds like this. And all I did was play this pattern right here. Super simple. And the entire melody together sounds like this. So after that, we were done with Ableton, so I closed that DAW. Of course, I rendered it out and everything, and we pulled it up in FL. Well, so I had the loop in FL. I chopped it up how I wanted it, and all I did was I made one part of the loop unique and dropped it down uh, 12 semitones, just a whole octave. Sounds like this. And all I did was have a little intro where the guitar is playing an octave down and the bass is playing. And then it switches to normal. Here and I had that little riser. And then when the drums actually come in, I just have the guitar all by itself at its normal tone. So not drop down any semitones at all. And then I just added some drums. So let's break down the drums. So all of the drums I'm using in this video are going to be from my new kit that is not out yet. And I'm telling you, this is going to be pretty much, it's going to be one of the best hyper pop kits you can get out there. I'm, these sounds have like a super warm feel to them and they're just, they're mixed like perfectly. This is like my favorite drum kit I've ever made. So I initially started with the clap and I used this one for my kit called Potent. Super basic pattern. I've all seen this before. I went in and added the hi-hat. Pretty simple too. And then I added this open hat for my kit. Literally just hitting on the one and the three. And then a super simple snare pattern.
And of course we had to get that 808 going. So this is another 808 from my kit. And if you look at the pattern, it's actually super, super simple. It gets a little more complicated here at the back end of the eight bars, but the first four bars, super simple. And like I said, uh, the chord progression is literally only two different chords. I believe it's a C minor chord and a D minor chord and all the drums together sound like this. Yeah, so like I said, this was a super simple beat. I didn't want to do too much, nothing like too crazy or anything like that, because the guitar pretty much carries everything. And the rest of the beat was pretty much just messing with the structure of it. So as you can tell right here, I have the drums drop out just for, this would be like your hook section right here. And uh, just adding a little more dynamic to it. So I have the drums drop out just for that tiny second. And then it comes back in with the bell and I believe a kick. <laughs> We go into the verse section i drop out the drums for this first part right here and have them come back in with the hi at first clap following and then everything drops next also the melody dropped an octave this would be your verse section right here and then all i did after that was repeat that over twice and you got a whole three minute beat so i mean all i had to do was fade the volume and that is an entire beat right there all right so you guys know the deal video's over if you did enjoy this one if you learned anything new hit that like button Drop a comment, let me know what you thought. Maybe let me know what you want to see for the next video. Like I said before, I have a drum kit dropping very, very soon. Stay tuned for that. I also have a loop kit that is dropping. It should be already out when you guys are seeing this video. I have the link in the description for that. But when this drum kit does drop, I'm telling you, you're going to want to cop this. This is by far my favorite drum kit I've ever made, ever used. But yeah, I'm going to play this beat at the end of the video for you guys. And as of right now, that is all I got for you. I will see you in the next one. Peace out.